how to work with 3D Pythagoras in 208 seconds. Let's go. This, guys, is definitely one of the most challenging topics in the course. Let's have a look at this one and see if we can get it. The question asks us to find the length of the straight line connecting point F and point D. Where are those going to be? So point F, that's going to be in the top left-hand corner and point D down here in the bottom right, drawing on a straight line to join them, we can draw on that line there. Now guys, when it comes to using 3D Pythagoras, what we're going to be trying to do is looking for opportunities to draw right angled triangles in our diagram. In this case, if we draw a straight line over here, connecting point B and point D, we can see that we've constructed a right angled triangle, which is gonna be that line there, FB, this line here, BD, and this line here, FD. Now, if we can find the hypotenuse of our triangle, then we found the length of FD. How are we going to find the hypotenuse though? We're going to need FB first of all and we're going to need BD so let's work those out. First of all FB we know that GC the height of our triangle is three centimeters and FB is going to be the same as that so we can write in three centimeters for FB. Now finding BD that one's going to be a little bit more challenging. We're actually going to have to use Pythagoras's theorem in a different situation. Let me explain. Down here we can see that we actually have another right angle triangle. It's going to be the right angle triangle which connects point a, point B, point B and D, and also point A and D. We have another right angle triangle there, guys, where the right angle is in this corner of our base rectangle. Now, what are we going to do? We're going to use Pythagoras' theorem. We can write on that the side length AB is 5, and that's because CD is 5, and AB is opposite that side length. Now, guys, we can use Pythagoras' theorem, because BD is going to be the hypotenuse of the, tri of, yeah, of the triangle, which has uh, one side length here of 5, another side length here of 12. So we can use the fact that A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. A and B are going to be our 5 and 12. We're going to have 5 squared plus 12 squared equals c squared, so that's going to be our c squared. 5 squared plus 12 squared, 5 squared is 25, 12 squared is 144, 25 plus 144, that's going to be 169. So we have 169 equals c squared. Now guys, we can square root both sides. c is going to be the square root of 169, c is going to be equal therefore to 13. Now, where can we go from there guys? Just like I was saying before, we can use Pythagoras' theorem in this bigger right angle triangle here. We can see that there's a right angle triangle which joins F, B, D, just like this. The right angle is down here. We have a base of 13. We have a height of 3. And the hypotenuse is going to be that length that we're looking for, the straight line connecting F and D. So what are we going to have? We're going to have A squared plus B squared equals C squared, where A and B are 3 and 13. So we can write in that 13 squared plus 3 squared is equal to c squared. 13 squared is 169. 3 squared is 9. That's going to be equal to c squared. 169 plus 9. That, guys, is going to be 178 equal to c squared. Now, guys, to find the value of c, we can do the square root of both sides. c is going to be equal to the square root of 178, which, guys, if we type into our calculator to two decimal places, is going to be 13.34. And that, guys, is going to be our answer for the length of the straight line connecting point F and D. I know that was hard, guys. Feel free to watch again. Hopefully, it will make it clearer.